Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to control multiple characters uh, one at a time. You'll be able to switch from the pawn or the character you started with along with other characters in your scene or particularly in this level. So what I'm going to do is just drag in this ACF Ultimate Player BP and I'll just add it a couple times. So I'll just Alt and drag this out and then Alt and drag out one more. I want a total of four characters for this. And now I'm just going to create a couple materials to just differentiate them. So I'll just right click, hit material, call this example or EX1, just as an example. And now I'll just do something like red, more red. And then I'll make an EX2, EX3. And for EX2, I'll just put that as blue. And then EX3 will be green. And now I'm just going to drag and drop on each of them. So, so we can differentiate them when I click play. So as you can see, there are three different characters and the one I spawn with is just its own character, but currently we don't have any position in hand. So let's go ahead and create that. So I am going to click on this drop down for blueprints and then open the level blu blueprint. And now in my level blueprint, which is for the ultimate map, I'm going to go ahead and create an event begin play. And now when I open my level BP, I am going to get some references to the characters that we made and just put them in the blueprint. So I'm, I'm going to start with a debug key one, and then I'll also do debug key two and a debug key three. So now when I click one, I want to call the possess. And now I'm just going to get local ACF player controller. Make sure you get the controller and I'm going to drag this out and do possess and call this function that call that says possess. And I'll just copy paste this and connect these. And now we need to make sure that we select the correct in pawn by getting that reference. So I'm just going to go back to the ultimate map and I'll click the red one, for example. And while this is highlighted, I'll go back to my level blueprint, right click and create this, create a reference to ultimate ACE or ACF ultimate player BP3. And then I'll just drag this into the pawn and then I'll do the same for the blue one and the green one. So I'll just clean this up a little bit and make sure they're all plugged in. And just like that. So I have debug key one, two, and three, and they're overlapping with some Ascent Combat Framework keys that are already in here for me. But when I go ahead and click F11 and click play, I'll be able to go to one for my red character, two for my blue character, and three for my green character. But I don't have a way to go back to my regular character, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, I basically just wanna say on begin play, I'm going to set one of these character references into character. So I'll create a character variable called car just for character. And then I'm going to search for character and this will be an object reference. And I'm going to set this as whatever we get when we spawn. So basically on begin play, we're just setting our character to our local ACF player character. And remember, or just note that this one is actually ACF player character where the other ones are controllers. So now I just need to tie this to one of these debug keys. So I'll do something like debug key four to go back to my character. And then I'll do the same thing. Copy paste this possess. And I'm just going to possess this character that we created by doing the get function on this character or getting this variable and just plugging that in. Now when I hit compile and save and hit play, you'll see that my red is my one and I'll be able to control it just like any other character. My two is my blue character. Three is my green and four. It's tied to my whistle and my main character. So it'll do both every time I click four. And yeah, that's how you switch your characters in Ascent Combat Framework. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.